There's one thing I do not understand, Alistair. Just the one thing. About you, perhaps. Why the deception over your parentage? I'd figure you'd be the sort in those orders. Greetings, Grey Warden. I'm as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah oh, well, with the Great Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. That gladdens my heart to hear it. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. No word from the castle? No, all is still, as it has been for days. And it is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The Arl lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious. Away. Curse you! Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been to enough. Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. If you didn't notice, the smithy is closed, the forge is cold, you've come to the wrong place. I said no, and I meant it. Be gone, stranger. My accident says you won't. Just you try it, looter! Be gone, I said! Don't you try to come in here! Somebody's been drinking. You just come barging into my home. I've no money and nothing of value to take, as you can plainly see. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Valena. She's one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the bear won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me, or the village, or anyone! It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. 
You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Is this a promise we will not keep? Let's hope not. What's this? I said nothing to you, human. Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. It is begun. 